Everybody says that bamboo printers are absolutely great right out of the box. They're not wrong, but let's talk about some upgrades that we can put on them too. So the first one is the anti-vibration feet. We have a couple of different options. There's the Bamboo Labs, and then there's also the Bamboo Compatible ones. These are nice and soft and squishy. So while your bamboo is zipping around at those super fast print speeds, this is gonna absorb the vibration so that it doesn't carry over to any of the other printers that you have in your print farm. They're especially handy if you are running multiple printers. If you don't like the noise that it makes while it's printing, or if you've got two bamboos trying to run on the same table, that can help improve your print quality, popping a couple of those feet on there. Uh, next on my list is the TZ2 hot end. So this is a hot end for bamboo printers. The kit that we have is specifically for the X1 carbon. So that's the hot end and thermistor that are included with it but you can just reuse the ones that came with your original P1S if you wanna put it on a P1S as well. The major advantage for this hot end is it breaks all of the pieces out. So now you have access to change just your heat break or just your heater block or just your nozzle. Instead of having to buy the entire hot end kit, you're able to buy it in parts and pieces like we always used to. The starter kit comes with the heat sink, the heat break, a heater block with a pre-installed nozzle. As I mentioned, it's got the heater cartridge and the thermistor for the X1 Carbon. If you have a P1S and you want to install this or a P1P and you want to install it, reuse the existing, or you can buy just the thermistor and heater cartridge that you need. It's also got the new silicone sock, the little Allen wrench that you need, the retaining clip to be able to hold your cartridge and thermistor in place, and a little packet of thermal grease to make sure everything gets installed properly. This has helped me to keep my costs way down. Instead of having to replace the entire hot end when there's no problem with my heat sink or my heat break, I'm now able to replace just the nozzles. It also gives me the option of having true brass nozzles or true hardened steel nozzles, so I know exactly what I'm putting in there, as well as greater size flexibility if I need to change them. Awesome upgrade to add on. Uh, next on my list is just a fun build plate option. The bamboo printers come right out of the box with textured PEI. It's one of my favorite surfaces to print on. I print on it all the time. I've got a textured PEI plate for every printer that I own but sometimes you want something a little more interesting and that's where the PEY side comes in. PEY is a different coating. It's got a holographic image on it. So this gives a mirror smooth finish on your print with a little bit of this holographic image transfer. It's a really neat feature to be able to add onto your prints, especially if you're doing a large flat kind of object that you're able to put the top on the build plate, then you got a really cool pattern on the top of it. Plus, everybody always needs a spare build plate, right? At least this way you know you've got another one in case it's dirty. Uh, next up, I do have another build plate option. This is for the people who are looking to do stronger, more rugged, more durable prints. This is our carbon fiber build plate. This is actually not a flexible build plate at all. This is completely rigid. It is four millimeters thick, and it's for people who wanna be printing ABS, ASA, nylon, all of those materials that love to warp and sometimes try and take the flexi plates with them. You can install your carbon fiber build plate and you won't have that issue anymore. This does come as a package to be able to install it. You get the magnet to adhere on the back, the properly cut bamboo profiled, build plate in a full rigid form and the instructions to be able to install this. They've started using this in the print farm here. I'm going to be installing one at home as soon as I get time just to make sure that when I'm printing those more challenging materials, I have a solid, stable, rigid surface to print them on. And with all of those materials, maybe it's time to invest in the AMS expansion hub. So if you bought a combo, you're used to seeing the AMS hub on the back of your printer. If you watch our channel, you probably saw the video where I was super excited. I got to install this on one of our print farm printers. It allows you to connect up to four AMS units and expand up to 16 colors or 16 different materials, whatever it is that you need to print. But this is a great way to turn your bamboo printer into just a complete multifunctional machine. And 
you don't have to change filament all that often with 16 spools. So these are my favorite upgrades to put on my bamboo printers. And I want to know what yours are. So I guess that's what the comment section is for. Let us know everything that you like. We've got links to all of these products in the video description. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.